officials that support for Mike Morosky is strong and is growing. Clutching a binder full of 4,478 signatures, current and former students of Mike Morosky delivered a petition to the Archdiocese of Cincinnati asking that the decision to fire him be reconsidered. All we ask is they, they listen and, and take the time to read it um, and hear the voices of the, their people because I think they can get great value from hearing those voices. Three of the men were students of Morosky at Muller High School, but one is a sophomore at Purcell Mary. Okay. You don't have the motivation that you used to in going to school. You mean she just lost somebody that was very important to the faculty and to the students and to everybody, really, the parents. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati fired Morosky on Monday after he refused to take down a blog on his personal website titled Choose Your Battles. Morosky wrote about his support for same-sex marriage. Morosky says he's proud of his students. Why? tried to instill in them and teach them for 12 years is that they do have a voice as individuals and when individuals get together their voice can be really really loud and powerful. The students and Morosky know they're fighting an uphill battle but they hope somehow the petition will lead to Morosky's reinstatement. If it's not we're at least getting that message out there that there are practicing Catholics that are for the equality of human treatment and that's what he backs. The census is a personnel issue. An archdiocese spokesman says he cannot comment on the petition or Mike Morosky's dismissal. But earlier this week, the archdiocese sent a letter home to parents stating Morosky's writing the blog in the first place contradicted Catholic Church teachings and violated his employment contract. Morosky says it didn't since he wrote it on his personal computer on his own time. Reporting live from the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Curtis. All right, Anjanette, thank you. Mike Morosky.